Tin 2 chloride, also known as stannous chloride, has a variety of different uses. One very common use of stannous chloride is as a reducing agent. I plan to use the stannous chloride solution for the synthesis of phenohydrazine and also to electrolytically grow some tin crystals. For this preparation, I used 12 grams of tin and about 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid that I used is the typical 31.45% hydrochloric acid that you get at the store. The process to make the solution is very easy, it just takes a long time. You can use more or less tin depending on the concentration of the solution that you want. I was aiming for a 2 molar solution, so I used 12 grams, but depending on your needs, you can vary that. One other thing to note is that the reaction will go faster if you clean the tin beforehand. The tin was cleaned by melting it in a pot and tilting the pot to pour the tin out from under the oxide layer. The liquid tin was spread out and I was left with nice thin strips that I could cut with scissors. 12 grams of clean tin was added to a beaker. I then poured in about 50 milliliters of 31.45% hydrochloric acid. The tin starts to react with the hydrochloric acid and there is some bubbling. However, at this rate, it'll take forever and it needs to be heated. A watch glass is placed on top to prevent vapors from escaping. It was then heated on low heat and it took 13 hours to finish. Occasionally, I'd check on the acid level and if it dips below 50 milliliters, I would add a little bit more acid. However, I probably didn't add more than 5 milliliters total. The reaction going on is pretty simple where the hydrochloric acid is reacting with the tin to produce the stannous chloride and hydrogen gas. When it's done, it should be clear but there might be little bits floating around still. So the first thing we do is let it cool because we don't want to work with a hot solution. Once it's cool, the watch glass is removed and the solution is just filtered through a coffee filter. At this point, the stannous chloride solution is complete and it's transferred to an amber glass bottle for storage. In the end, the solution is about a 2 molar stannous chloride solution. It's worth mentioning that isolating solid stannous chloride is actually pretty hard to do. This is because you can't simply boil off and remove the water because stannous chloride is in equilibrium with hydrochloric acid. If the concentration of acid goes too low, the tin chloride will precipitate as tin hydroxide. The solution has to be boiled down to a certain point while maintaining the hydrochloric acid concentration and then cooled to precipitate the stannous chloride crystals, but it's very easy to overshoot this point. Here's a shot of it being used as the reducing agent to make phenylhydrazine. When it's added to the solution, you can see the phenylhydrazine precipitate out. And in this example, I carry out the electrolysis of the stannous chloride solution, and you can see here that tin crystals are growing. I will show how I set this up in a future video.